One more thing. Christ has risen. Mark chapter 16. There's the non-controversial part. 1 through 8, and then the controversial part of 9 through 20. And yes, 16, 1 through 8 does have the resurrection of Christ. The When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Sarum brought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body. But wait! Some say there were more. Some say there were less. Yeah, they're spotlighting. Only giving either how many people they can remember or only who they think it's important. People have done this. And like Life of Brutus, Life of Jew, is again, inspired philosophy has <coughs> done away with this. And other people, too, have done away with this stupid, stupid idea of an error. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb, and they asked each other, who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But they but when they looked up, they saw the stone, that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away, and there, there as they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in white, a right robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Oh, but I saw it's two angel. Oh no, one minute. Again, spotlighting. <laughs> Not angel. Who do you think it is? Is this some rando with a white robe who decided to show up? Of course it's an angel. Just have to think a little more. Don't be ashamed, he said. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who ha was crucified. He has risen. See, right there. This first remark says he has risen. Meaning he's back to life. <coughs> meaning it has Christ rising. Before the more controversial part. So at least it does have that. He is not here. See the place where he, where they laid him. But to go tell his disciples and Peter. Because Peter denied him three times, remember. Peter feels the worst. Probably the most scared right now. Like, even if he does come back, he's going to disown me. Huh. <sighs> He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. Oh, well, oh, oh, go, he's going to Galilee, so it's not, not like he's still dead. Because the last verses of Mark doesn't say that at all. <laughs> there you will see him. Just as you told, as he told you. So the last, it does have the Jesus rising from the dead. It does the climate? Yeah, if Mark didn't claim that, I think it wouldn't be included part of the Bible. But that's not skeptics. That's weird conspiracy theories about Mark. <sighs> anyway. Trembling and bewildered, the women went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Some manuscripts have the following ending between verse 8 and 9. And one manuscript has it after verse 8. Omitting verses 9 through 20, which... Technically, there is this stuff found in other Gospels, so it's so, so it happened. It's just it mark, write it down. That's the question. <coughs> because we already have Jesus rising from the dead and not just leaving going to heaven. Anyway, 
then they quickly reported all these instructions to those around Peter. After this, Jesus himself also sent out through them from the east to the west. The sick to the west, the scattered and imperishable proclaimed Proclamation of eternal salvation. Amen. So, yes, again. Is this stuff found in other Gospels? Yes. Does Mark have a risen Jesus by the end? Yes. So, does this stuff happen? Yes. Did Peter tell Mark about it and did Mark write it down? Well... The earliest manuscripts and some other ancient witnesses do not have verses 9 through 20. <coughs> some lunatics will say the Bible's lying to you. I'd say that's a slippery slope. <coughs> and like, no, it's already said Jesus raised from the dead and is in Galilee. We'll go to Galilee because that's where he will meet up with you. I'm pretty sure that means they're saying Jesus rose from the dead. But anyway, it's a controversial part for that reason. My queen are probably may better be on it. There are probably more people may better be on it. Just put it in the comments. This, but I'm gonna read it, and it's included here. The controversial 19 through 20. When Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had already he had driven seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him and who were mourning and weeping. When they had heard that Jesus was alive and that she had seen him, they did not believe it. Also, here's another thing. I don't mean anything by it, but back then, women were not considered trustworthy. They weren't. So to have a woman be the first person, a group of women even, to see Jesus. Yeah, no, they would have Peter or, you know, Paul maybe. You know, somebody more highly respected in the church, but no, just some random woman. Yeah. And they did not believe it. Yeah. Probably thinking her friends. Uh, no. Afterward, Jesus appeared in a different form to two of them while they were walking in the country. Those re these returned and reported to the rest, but they did not believe them either. Yes, all this has happened in other Gospels, so... <coughs> This happened. This Mark, write it down. Later, Jesus appointed, now appeared to the eleven as they were eating. He rebuked them for or their lack of faith and their stubborn refusal to believe those who had seen him, and no, seen him after he had risen. He said to them, "Go to into all the." world and preach the gospel to all creation whoever believes and is baptized will be saved but whoever does not believe will be condemned and these signs will accompany those who believe in my name they will drive out demons they will speak in new tongues they will pick up snakes with their hands and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. <laughs> Please do not go drinking raw arsenic. Like even the person who thinks there's this giant conspiracy theory doesn't want you to go drinking around arsenic and doesn't think that's a good idea.
So yeah, although I'm pretty sure there's some people who will say, well, should. Anyway, yeah, I want to give you good resources, not bad ones. They will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. After the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, also, I want to give you someone, just don't go and harass. <laughs> Although you probably could find them. And I was necessarily the one I pretend involves you. Just have some crazy ideas. He took, he was taken up into the, the into heaven and s sat at the right hand of God. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere, and the Lord worked with them, and comforted and confirmed His world, word by signs, by the signs that accompanied it.